Hey guys, I'm Laura from Lauralee Creative and I'm so excited to be here with Rising Tide and HoneyBook this month to bring you the business planning challenge. Over the next three weeks, we're going to be talking about three different topics that have to do with running a small business. And I'm super excited to be bringing you this content because I know it's going to help you bring your business to the next level. This week, we're going to be talking about brand strategy and what it means to have an ideal client, define your mission statement, your vision statement, and define your why. Next week, we're going to be talking about goal setting, which I'm super, super passionate about because I want to see you guys achieve those goals. And we're not just going to set goals. I'm actually going to give you a strategy to achieve them and take action on them instead of just letting them collect dust. And then in week three, the final week, we're going to be talking about my favorite topic, which is growth strategy. So we're taking those goals and we're going to see how we can streamline our processes and systems so that we can grow our business instead of always maintaining our business. Because that's so important as a small business owner that we are finding ways to grow without sucking up all our time. So we're going to talk about working smarter, not harder, and I'm really, really passionate about this topic. So I can't wait to spend the next three weeks with you bringing you this content, and I'm so excited that you are joining us on this challenge. So now we're going to dive into brand strategy, and I'm going to flip my screen so you guys can follow along with some slides. Okay, guys, so now we're going to dive into brand strategy, and here is the problem with brand strategy. Number one, most of us don't really have one. Number two, we often only think that our brand means our logo, our colors, our fonts, and all that stuff. Those are just common misconceptions about branding. And what happens when we don't have a brand strategy is that we end up saying yes to every client or opportunity. We get a lot of price shoppers and we're not necessarily attracting who we want to work with. So we don't really have that ideal client persona to work towards and we're not really attracting or repelling anybody. We're kind of just being everything to everybody. So that is an issue and it happens because we don't have a strategy. So today we're going to go into brand strategy. We're going to talk about defining our ideal client, our mission statement, our vision statement, and our why. And then we'll talk about taking all of that, defining the look and consistency. So first I want to dive into defining your ideal client. So you may have heard this before and it's for good reason. Having an ideal client is super important for your brand strategy because what happens is if we don't have an ideal client, we are guiding our marketing efforts and our brand efforts towards everybody. And then we end up really not attracting anybody. And it becomes really difficult to have a marketing strategy because we don't really know who we're talking to. So defining your ideal client really starts with answering a bunch of questions about one specific person. And this could be somebody that you've worked with before that you want to just say, okay, they're my ideal client and I'm going to define some answer these questions about them or it can be a made up person that you haven't worked with yet but you really want to and you think it would be really really awesome to work with them. So here are a few questions and there's going to be more in the workbook about defining your ideal client. First, what is their gender? Are they male? Are they female? How old are they? What hobbies do they like to do? A few other questions might be like, where do they shop? Where do they food shop? Do they own a business? That might be a really big one. Are they a mom? Are they married? So we kind of want to define everything that we can about them so that we put out content that actually speaks to them. And the important thing here is that we want to niche it down so that we have a guide and a filter for all of our marketing and brand efforts so that we can be attracting one person and people similar to that one person and repelling people who don't fit that persona. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've worked with people who are really not ideal. And to me, it makes my job and my business feel like work. And when I work with ideal clients who are so much fun to work with, they bring so much passion to my business and my everyday that it really doesn't feel like work to me. So that's the awesome thing about finding ideal clients is they just make your job so much more fun to do. 
So don't be afraid to get too specific with this because the idea is that we're attracting the right people and repelling the wrong people. So in the workbook that you'll be able to download under this video, there's going to be a bunch of questions to get you started on the right track. And don't be afraid to ask yourself some questions on top of what I provide in the workbook because it's really going to help. The more you can define this person, the better it is going to be for your brand. So after we have our ideal client, we can go and define our mission statement. So to put it simply, our mission statement is what we do, how we do it, who we do it for. So I want you guys to answer the questions in the workbook. I gave you some space to write out your answers of what specifically do you do, how do you do it, who do you do it for, and what value are you providing. So if you want some inspiration behind this, my mission statement at Lorelei Creative is we empower photographers and creative entrepreneurs to build a profitable business and fulfilling life with education designed to help save time and make more money so that they can find their own definition of work-life harmony without working around the clock. So right there, I define who I do it for, photographers and creative entrepreneurs, what I'm doing. I am empowering them to build a profitable business and fulfilling life. How am I doing it? with education designed to help them save time and make more money, and what value am I providing? I am providing work-life harmony without working around the clock. So that is my mission statement, and I encourage you guys to download the workbook so that you can answer these questions and scratch it out and just write out all your thoughts so that you can define a mission statement as well. Once you have that, we're going to move on to defining your vision statement. So this is a little bit different. The mission statement is more the what and the who, and the vision is the why, the how. So some of the questions to define your vision statement a little better would be, where do you see your business going? What difference will you make for your customers in your own life? So I want you guys to think about these things, write your answers out in that workbook, and really use this vision to filter and define your goals because I think your goals are really going to be driven by your vision statement. And what's also going to be really helpful is defining your why. So we're going to talk about this a little more in depth here. So defining your why means that you have a reason to do what you do. And this German philosopher down here, Frederick, not sure how to say his last name, but I'll give it a try, Nietzsche, is saying that he who has a why can endure anyhow. So, answer the questions in the workbook, and I'm going to go over a few here. Why is it you do what you do? Pretty simple. What excites you about your current job? Hopefully you can think of a lot of things. What does success look like and feel like beyond a number or a paycheck? What do you want to be known for? What benefit do you bring to those who you work with? And what benefit do you bring to yourself with this business? So once you have your why, it becomes the filter for everything you do. The products that you create, your services, your packages, any decisions that you make as a business owner. And it really helps you make sure that you are staying on that right track to further you towards achieving your mission and your vision for your business. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of inspiration to define your why, and this comes from Simon Sinek, who is the author of Start With Why, which is a great business book that I totally recommend you guys read. So he says, It is one of life's greatest joys to wake up in the morning, every morning, with a clear sense of why that day matters, why every day matters. This is what it means to find your why. This is the start of an inspiring journey, your inspiring journey. So I think it's really important as business owners to define our why because I think that's really what keeps us going when we're starting to feel burnt out or unpassionate or just really exhausted by all the things that are required when it comes to being a business owner. So I think that that this quote is so true as well as the one above that he who has a why can endure anyhow. So once we have all of these things to find, your ideal client, your mission, your vision, and your why, then we can really start to dig into the look and the feel of your brand. So your look is 
what most people think of when they think of branding. So that's your logos, your colors, your fonts, your photos, your copy. And what's important here is that consistency is key. And what I really love about consistency and branding is that I can create a consistent look when I use HoneyBook, which is actually what I use for my client management software. So I'm actually gonna show you guys this because I think it's really cool. So in my HoneyBook, you are going to see that I have a lot of templates and this really helps me keep my brand consistent with my brand voice. Even when I'm super tired and don't feel like writing an email, my invoices are branded, my brochures are branded, my questionnaires, my contracts. So you'll see here that even just in my emails, I'm able to add my logo here and just keep it really consistent across the board, which I think is really awesome. And on my questionnaires, I am able to add my logo, I'm able to add my pictures, my headshot. So my face is always there. I can change the photos to be anything that I want. So I'm a photographer, so I have a lot of images, but if you have brand images, this is a really great place to upload them into your library. And then you can use them on all of your documents, like your questionnaires, and your invoices, and your proposals, and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. And one of the things I do is a fire pit session. And I actually have a brochure, and I am able to use my fire pit picture with the mountains. That, to me, is really branded, and that is really a big part of Laurelie Creative is my fire pit session, sitting around a fire pit, hopefully in a really awesome place, and doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So this is how I get to keep my brand consistent. And I absolutely love that something as ugly as an invoice, usually it's ugly, can be pretty within HoneyBook. So this is what I use for all my client management, and it's just it's really awesome. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in week three when I talk about growth strategy, and I'll show you guys my workflows and my task management. But I just wanted to show you guys that because I think it's really, really cool that you can keep your brand so consistent. And you'll see here, even on my contracts, which again, normally a super boring document, I can go in and I can add pictures, I can add my logo, and it's just really awesome to have consistency across all of my documents with out having to like, create a bunch of PDFs because it's actually just all in the system. So that's really, really cool to me. Um, so I'm gonna go back over to my slides here. So consistency is key, moral of the story. So now I want you guys to take action and download your free take action guide. It's going to be below the video on this post and it's going to help you map out your brand strategy. And don't forget to also take part in our challenge. So I want you guys to head over to Instagram and share your mission statement. So once you go through that workbook and you answer the questions that have to do with your mission statement, head over to Instagram, share it with us, and tag three people that inspire you. Use hashtag October Business Planning Challenge in your post and tag us, Rising Tide Society, HoneyBook, and Laurelie Creative in your post so that we can cheer you on and read your mission statement. I'm really, really excited to see your post. So be sure to tag me at Laurelie Creative and tag all of us so that you can be a part of the challenge. We can follow along with you because we are actually going to pick one winner at the end of the challenge to win a free year of HoneyBook so that you can make 2018 your best year yet. So I'm super excited to be hanging out with you next week as well to bring you goal setting. So tune in next week for challenge number two.